You're watching 8-Bit Days a Week, and I'm gonna be playing Gun Force, the arcade version on the PlayStation Classic. And um, this game actually got a home console port, but not on the PlayStation, I believe. It actually came out on the Super Nintendo, and it's very much a run-and-gun game, like, uh, you know, Contra, Metal Slug. And, um, much like Contra, it's also difficult. <laughs> And I highly recommended playing this game with someone. I suppose I should just play it like a Contra game that is somewhat methodical to my approach. Eliminate everything I see first. And that. Can I get that? Thank you. All right. Let's make it. All right. I think that's it for my whirly bird there. See about my character, he's so big, the sprite, I could easily get hit. And yeah, look at those bullets from them, it's also big. Anyway, I um, did play the Super Nintendo port of this. Um, I generally hated the sound, actually. The graphics, of course, it's a little bit less detailed, but it's um, okay, I guess, for a SNES game. The fun factor, it's really dependent if you like uh, run and gun games. It's no Contra though. Contra is one of those games that everyone can actually enjoy. the wrong button there.
Irem had a lot of interesting arcade games actually. Um, it just happened to be lesser known. I mean, compared to like uh, SNK or Capcom or Konami games where everyone seems to know. Irem has a lot of hidden gems. thing we get <sighs> unlimited credits I mean I I never did get far in the end in the NES ver uh, super NES version of this one so if you had fun memories of this on the S NES I actually recommend that you try the arcade instead. It's much better. And it and it runs great on the PlayStation Classic. had a thing going there. Alright, anyway, I think that should be it for this video. And this is once again Gun Force, the arcade version played on the PlayStation Classic via RetroArch. So, yep. It's, um,. It's actually not bad. It runs. It runs running okay on the um, PlayStation Classic. And uh, if you have a USB hub, you can have multiple controllers connected. And it should be fun when there's uh, two of you playing. And that's it for this video. You're watching 8-Bit Days a Week. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.